Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff again. Hey, just wanted to share another tip with you. Today I found that there was a, one of my clients that was trying to place an offer on a property, but they didn't place the offer because they hadn't had their LLC created yet. And I asked them, why didn't you place the offer? And they said, because I have to place an offer under an LLC name, but I don't have the LLC created yet. Don't let that stop you. Here's the reason why. First of all, let me pause. Let me tell you, I am not a real estate attorney, nor do I pretend to be one. Uh, one day, maybe when I grow up, I'll try to be one. But until then, I'm just, this is make believe. This is me sharing my thoughts with you and play at your own risk. We're all in the sandbox together. But here's what I would do if I was in the sandbox. I would say, place the offer. Number one, place the offer, right? Here's the most important thing. If you're not placing offers, you're not getting deals under contract. If you're not getting deals under contract, you're not funding deals. If you're not funding deals, you're not fixing deals, you're not flipping deals, you're not getting paid. This is number one. As a matter of fact, side note, I placed, uh, I think it was 93 offers before I got my first contract accepted. So I had a, I had a rule that I was placing an offer a day, every day uh, for, uh, weeks every day I, I it was ridiculous most most of the offers were totally offhand but anyway side note place offers that's the only way you're gonna get contracts it's the only way you're gonna be able to get deals done number one place offer well Jeb I don't yet have the LLC created I don't care here's the re if it was me I wouldn't even care because it really doesn't matter what you call it I'm just gonna call it ABC company ABC LLC write the offer and your agent, and here's why I say that. Uh, this is just me, I'm gonna share this with you guys. Because ABC LLC, uh, if that's not yet taken, doesn't matter, I'll explain here in a moment. If the offer gets accepted, create the LLC, right? This seems backwards, I get it, but here's the reality. How many times have you guys been asked for entity docs prior to getting a property under contract? Uh, never. I've never been asked for LLC docs until the property's under contract, ever. So, if the property gets under contract and they accept your offer, you're all of a sudden in a scramble to go get ABC LLC created. Well, here's here's maybe something you guys were thinking of. Jeb, ABC company's already, already taken. Okay, great. What about ABC LLC, is that taken? Oh, I'm sorry, is A, B, C taken? Is A, B, C taken? I mean, there's a variety of options here that you could guarantee you'll find an option that isn't created in your, in your state and you simply create the LLC. Now you've got this LLC. Let me explain a couple other things about this. If you place an offer and they want to know who is writing the offer and they look up ABC company, they're not going to find you. They have no idea who's actually writing the offer and why is this important? Because you're protecting yourself uh, in, a, in some degree. Uh, now, they don't even see who's writing the offer. They don't know that it's, you know, Jeb, that he's done some deals in the past in this community, anything else. All they see is it's ABC company. They can't figure it out. Okay, cool. We'll accept the offer. Once the offer gets accepted, you go create the LLC. Kind of asks backwards, I get that. But now you've created the LLC, now you, now you could actually move forward with that. So don't get caught up on creating the LLC, making sure that you've got the right name. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I've literally created an LLC called ABC LLC once because it doesn't matter. Nobody really cares about what your LLC is called. I can't tell you how many times I've seen blah, blah, blah investment groups or whatever it is, it's don't overthink it guys. Just create, place the offer, create the LLC or get this LLC under contract and then create the LLC. The other benefit about this, little side note, if they don't have the LLC docs yet and you get the, and you get the property under contract, that's gonna be right here. Uh, this is kind of under contract, right? That would be step, you know, this is step one. This is, uh, this is step two. 
uh, once you have an error contract, they're going to ask for the LLC docs, right? You've created the LLC. What this does, catch this. What this does is if you decide you want to bring on a business partner once you determine that this property's gotten under contract, you have the ability to add them to the LLC right here. Add, and let me throw a twist at you, or remove anybody, anyone you want, right? Because if you haven't created this LLC, you haven't created who the members are of that. So if you follow me, let's think about this. Place an offer on the property under ABC Company. ABC Company hasn't even been created yet. We get it under contract. Now that we've got it under contract, we have a conversation with some other people and we ask them, would you like to do this deal? If they do, we create the LLC with anyone we want. Could that include me? Could that not include me? If you catch my drift, we could just have anyone we want that be the owner of the LLC. This could be Bob, this could be Tina, this could be Bob, Tina, and Jeb. This could be anyone we want. So this is a very nice tactic that allows you to not get caught up in what am I going to create? What, you know, is it an S Corp, C Corp, L Corp, who knows Corp? Doesn't matter. Place the, place the offer, come up with a name, get it under contract, create the LLC, and while you're doing that, think about who you want to own the LLC. Could there be possibly a conversation about uh, you selling this LLC for a certain dollar amount uh, to somebody? And then ha now having the ability to close on any deal that this property's got under contract, or I'm sorry, this entity's got under contract, it just so happens it is only one deal and it's this, yeah. So, something I wanna share with you once again, I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. This isn't me trying to give you any kind of legal advice or anything like that. This is something that I just saw a lot of people get caught up on. I thought, you know what, there's probably a number of ways that this would work, work a lot easier for you. Thought I might share whether you use it or not, it's totally up to you. This is at this point is just theory, just hypotheticals. Do what you want with it.